Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to our wonderful Chinese North America. Looking good, isn't it? Of course, Chinese Asia is, as always, awesome. With our noodle appendage, noodly appendage, that uh, not only forks off, but also squirts a little onto Western Europe. Look at that. It's pretty, huh? So we're about to embark on a wonderful war uh, against France and also against Germany. The war with France will be very easy. They just lost the war to Italy, which is pathetic. But the war against Germany is going to be incredibly tough. So hang in there. We are going to go on a wild ride. Day one, war on France. Uh, why can't I declare war? It's not like there's regencies in this game. No, I can't declare war. There's my CB, acquire state. Uh, oh, my truce is not up. <laughs> my truce ends in July of next year. Okay, so I can't do that. I had planned on declaring on France right now, moving all my troops into his territory, letting Germany siege up all this stuff, and then killing Germany's stacks while they siege, because he would split up his stacks. But I can't do that because we have a truce with France for another, well, about a year. Okay, so we'll just declare on Germany. So be it. Arr. Okay, we have to decide what province we want. We have to decide what state we want to declare for. Uh, ba -bum -ba -ba -bum. Do I want Ostprussen? It's a nice state. Hmm... Could go for Schlesen. That's a nice state. Hmm. Westphalen. I hadn't really decided what state I want. What's a good state to take uh, on our border with Germany here? There's Alsace Lorraine. There's Rhineland. Nordhein. Westphalen. And that's it for our border over here. And over here, the only state we border is Ostprussen. I wonder how much they cost. What's Ostprussen cost? Bom, 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 Ostprussen. That's only 16. Oh, that's pretty cheap. What about uh, Westphalen? 27. Ooh, that's pricey. That is pricey. Hmm. Rhineland? Okay. Rhineland it is. How much is Rhineland? 23. Okay. Got it. Alright, now this is going to be painful. His allies may or may not join. His allies are Sokoto, Spain, and Scandinavia. I know they're all frightened of us, uh, but that doesn't mean they won't join. They are allied to number two in the world, Germany, so they probably feel a little bit safer. Uh, we have some pretty good forts on this on this border, so we're just going to stand here and let him attack us. At least that's what we're going to do at the start. I want to play defensively if I can, because when we go aggressive, we tend to lose a lot of units, especially if we're invading his territory. Uh, can you guys go stand up there, please? Or over there, whatever. Just you're you're crowding my style here, cramping my style. Split in half. There you go. There you go. Alright, let's see what happens. What the hell speed am I? I'm on speed 2. That's fine. Speed 2 is fine. I want to see if he attacks. No, no, no. I, what am I doing? All right, you're on Hunt Rebels. What the fuck are you doing? He's on Hunt Rebels, so he's walking away from the front line. You idiot. You stay there. Alright, we declared on Germany. Attack me, fool. He just mobilized as well. Well, let me start off with uh, an attack on that, since we outnumber him massively here. 
but I'm not sure if we'll stay in his territory. We may not. Let's see what happens. He's not engaging. He's just kind of sitting there. Okay. Ah, oh, you stupid hunt rebel sons of bitches. Stop hunting rebels. This is the military. Stay focused. It's very late here. It's 11.15 at night, so I'm not sure how long we'll be going. Uh, I don't think we're going to finish tonight. Spain's invading the territory that we just took from Portugal, but that's okay. We don't care. Ah, we can start getting uh, Casas Belli on, like, Italy. Let's do that. We can't because we like them. Well, decrease relations then. Damn it, game. Do I have to do everything for you? Apparently, yes. Yeah, see, we attacked him. We're losing lots and lots of guys. I would rather have him attack us. Okay, we won the battle, but we lost a lot more guys than he did. Let's see what he does here. Ah, he's invading me over here. I forgot about this. Yes, we have a front in Africa. So we'll fight him in Africa for sure. Uh, yeah, I might not be able to deal with that. That's a lot of army. Well, I do have another Navy that we're recruiting. How are we doing on the Navy? 41 transports. It's better than nothing, right? Uh, let's get some soldiers to that province, and we'll transport them uh, back. And we'll just keep running the navy back and forth over here to drop off troops. Because we're going to do some fighting here. I imagine he'll get access through the Ottomans or someone to come fight us. Oh my god, he's got 140,000 rebels in the capital. Fascist rebels. Wow, France. 140,000 in the capital. That's pretty severe. But he's not actually attacking us. He's just chilling. He's getting all of his mobilized peasantry into the armies. No, he hasn't mobilized. Well, no, he did mobilize, but they haven't really spawned yet. There's When he mobilizes, he'll have about 1,000 troops. No joke. I don't want fascist rebels. Synthetic oil. Ah, give me the last naval upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we at least we left some troops here, right? Are right, you guys gonna go on hunt rebels? Hunt rebels. Hunt rebels. Hunt rebels. Are there on? Are there any on the islands? No. Okay. Good. Hunt rebels. You already are. It's a lot of rebels. Wow.
Yeah, this is a bad time to get rebels, let me tell you. We're a little preoccupied. All right. No, no, no. We're going to go to Japan and pick up our rebel hunting stacks here. They'll help. Do I have anyone I can spare back here? Because I probably should. Uh, you guys in the rear. Yup. Rebel hunt. Rebel hunt. Rebel hunt. I'll leave a few guys here, like four or five hundred K. But we'll let some go back. Shoot. Bad time for rebels. You guys can't really do anything. And I still have this army sitting in Madagascar. Which means I probably can't declare war on France even after the truce is up because I have troops in his territory, technically. Strange enough as it, as it is. Rebel hunting time. So Scandinavia did not join against us. And it looks like he wants to come attack me on this border because he saw me uh, retreat some troops away. But this is a good time for us to press in. So let's take uh, 64. Well, heal up a little bit and then go in. But yeah, if he's going to pull off the border like that, I need to press the attack. 51, go. Anywhere there's a gap, I'm going to throw a couple guys in. He's wanting to attack us right now. Uh, that's probably dumb on his part, but that will give me a chance to invade a little bit. And we can reinforce this guy until the cows come home, so it's not a problem. Kill him. And reinforce there. Hey, we got our first sieged province. It doesn't have any forts here because it was all owned by Egypt, and Egypt doesn't build forts for some reason. Okay. Uh, dump them off. Ah, you guys can also hunt rebels. Dump them off here. You guys... Group up, split in half, hunt. Hunt. Okay, good. That'll be a little more people working. Hunt. Hunt. Ah, good. Now that we've taken one province, uh, I feel like we can push forward a little more, like this. Because that'll add supply range to our troops. Let's take uh, these 72 to Eindhoven, you guys to Maastricht. Let me introduce you to Maastricht. Kill the rebels, kill the rebels, blah, blah, blah. Are there any in India? Nope. There's one in Nepal. 
Are you going to kill him, Punjab? Nope. Stupid Punjab. Son of a bitch. Punjab, you lazy, you lazy bastard. Ah, someone will eventually go over there, but whatever. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Focus. Kill the rebels. Kill the rebels. San Francisco rebels. Rebels everywhere. Rebels, 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 rebels. Ah, here we go. Munster. We're under attack. Okay. Back him up. And back him up. This is good. He's a, he's being aggressive. I like this. Uh, you guys go there. And you guys go here. Excellent. Kill the rebels. Kill the rebels. Kill the rebels. Flashpoint tension? Whatever. I haven't bothered with flashpoint tension in quite a while. Alright, pick up the other army. It's a good thing we built this second navy. Because <laughs> we need it. Yeah, all three of these battles are going very much in our favor. Here, let me turn off hostile sieges for now. Yeah. And friendly sieges too. There. So we can just see the battles. I want to make sure there's no battles that are against us. Like, uh, not in our favor. It'd be cool if they showed the flags up here. But they don't. It just says... 13th army is fighting 7th army. That doesn't really tell you what nation you're fighting. So you don't know if you're fighting rebels or whoever. Okay, can we now fabricate on Italy, please? Of course we can. Acquire state. Good. And uh, that will bring in Poland, hopefully. And then we can go get some land from Poland. At least that's the plan. Don't know how well it'll work out. Won the Battle of Luxembourg. He lost 53,000. Good. He's going south to Metz. Alright, we'll press our advantage to Sarbuken. And Trier. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. Okay, this could be bad. No, he's just reinforcing in Mets. He's bringing in another 60k to Mets. So he's going to have about 90k there. But I don't know what he's going to do with it. He's running to Luxembourg. So he really wants this out of Luxembourg. That's fine. I'll let him engage. We'll bring in another 100k. Yeah, this is exactly how I want this to go. Now, the reason we're being so careful in this war with Germany is because he has a lot of troops. I mean, a lot. So I don't want to jump the gun and have us get outnumbered in a few battles or lose too many troops. Like against the USA or Canada or Russia or whatever, or France even, or Britain or whatever, they don't have tons and tons of troops. So if we, if we go into battles where we lose five times as many troops as they do, it doesn't matter. As long as we're winning all the battles and killing their armies eventually, it doesn't matter. But in this case, he has just so many troops, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands that we gotta be careful. We don't, this isn't our full army. We could bring over more guys. So we're not fighting him with our full army and that's why we gotta be careful. Otherwise, I would just throw caution to the wind. Uh, yeah, he's coming to, to Siegeborg. Yeah, he's going to Siegburg. I wonder what he's doing with that army. 
He's bringing 250k to Siegburg, and then he has another 200k here in uh, Kruznach. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Guess we'll find out. Ah, oh, Jacobins. I hate you so much, rebel scum. Oh, he's completely left this... Oh, look at this. Well then, how about we invade a little? Works for me. So initially he pulled off this border for whatever reason. So we started invading. Now he pulled off this border. <laughs> whatever, Germany. Whatever. I do what I want. Won the Battle of Munster. Good, good. Killing a lot of rebels, but there's still more. We got... Oh, I was going to say we finished a siege, but no, we didn't. Germany finished a siege. You German bastards. Yep, German bastards. This looks like we're not going to be getting any reinforcements here. Uh, we're on our own. Because the guys in China are pretty freaking busy. We're under attack in Trier. That's what he's doing. He's sending a whole buttload of guys to Trier. So let's send some backup. We'll try to keep the backup light. Because we, we, we should have defensive bonus in a very well defended province. Not well defended. A very well fortified province. We should have defensive bonuses. Uh, let's pull you back to there. And just siege. Yeah, he's going to bring 250,000 to that. But we should be able to defend with just 200 guys. We might bring some more. We'll see how it goes. We'll watch the numbers as they pop up. Uh, couldn't really tell. There's so many numbers popping up. We'll bring some more guys just in case. So he's just plowing through the sieges in Dongla in Egypt. But that's fine. Whatever. Couldn't tell. So many numbers popping up. Oh no, we were discovered fabricating our claim on Italy. Well, we better give up on that war. Let's go home, folks. Ah, we'll be fine. Okay, we're going to reinforce a little more. Ah, that was a nice roll. We won the Battle of Aachen. He's going to retreat to... Oh, he's actually coming into my territory. He's coming to Maastricht. All right. I'll meet you there, silly boy. Okay. Uh, we'll take you guys out to heal because there's a lot of zeros in there. Here, just go sit over there. We'll replace with these guys up here. Uh, 15, 84, 95. Give me the 84. And let's go help out there. Okay, hopefully we'll kill that guy, but I don't know. He might be able to retreat somewhere. Uh, otherwise, it's looking pretty good here. 
We really overloaded this battle now. What? Where? Shit. <laughs> More troops. Kill rebels, please. Because there's a lot. Ah, we're getting engaged. That's what it was. Okay. Think we have troops over there. That's a pretty big battle. 266 versus 426? Wow. Siege Suez. And the Jacobin rebels are everywhere. But they're not in the capital, so not really a big deal, I guess. Just gotta get rid of them. In the meantime, they're just disrupting our economy. La da -da -da -da. Finish some sieges here. I pronounce Dutch provinces rather good. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. Luxembourg has fallen. Very good. And uh, we need to reinforce over here, so do that. He's sending quite a lot of guys here. Okay. Ah, get out of there, dickhole. You guys can help. Uh, yeah, go to Munster. You guys are still healing, but come to the front lines. Okay, we won the Battle of Maastricht, but he did get out. He did escape. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why this is allowed. He loses, out of 23,600, he loses 23,300, but he's allowed to run away with 300 guys. Like, really? I mean, he's not going to make it very far, but it's still weird. Yeah, we just squished him the next day. Okay, Cologne has fallen. Fantastic. Uh, we can go to Siegburg, but if we do that, then we'll be opening a gap in the line. So we'll hold off uh, until Aachen is done, and then we can move the Aachen guy to Siegburg. Yeah. That'll be the plan. Okay. We killed 50,000 of him here. We only lost 30,000 of our own. Uh, I'm going to split you in half. And uh, you guys are going to fall back. I left the fresh army to continue sieging. And I took the hurt army home. Ah, good. We're finishing some sieges. Yeah, he's committing a ton of troops to that battle. I probably have a bad general. 
Yeah, his general is way better than mine. Darn. Okay, commit to that battle. Seventeen thousand. Come home and heal up. Okay, Sarbukin has fallen. Very good. I was hoping to encircle this battle, but I would have to get to this province. If I encircle this battle, then that entire stack of German soldiers will die. But I would have to chase this guy off somehow. I'm not sure if we can do that. Well, we can always try. Ah, he wants to give me Rhineland already. But we just got started. Wow, we almost have... We have 42% already. I guess that means we need to add a war goal, huh? So, what do we want to add? Rhineland is this chunk here. Uh, the next province would be Hesse-Nassau, or should we go for Baden? Or Alsace-Lorraine? They're all good. Uh, or we could go for Ostprussen. Uh, we could also do Nordheim. Or Westphalen. Westphalen seems to be pretty poor. Uh, Nordheim has a lot of pop. Not that we need pop. But Den seems pretty empty. Hesse Nassau doesn't have that many people either. Hmm. Alsace Lorraine has gold and sulfur. Well, that might be worth it then. Just just for the gold and sulfur, that might be worth it. Hmm. If we wanted to connect up our lands somehow, and just take all this middle stuff. All this middle gobbity gobbity gook, right? Gobbity gook. Uh, that would be Hessen. How much is that worth? 18 war score. What are we demanding so far? Uh, 23. Okay. Hessen it is. See if we can't uh, link up our lands somewhere. But yeah, I really want to encircle this army somehow. Uh, can we get any more guys? E uh, if I commit up there, we'll, we'll be breaking the line. But I think it's worth it. Oh, look at this. He took a ton of dudes out of here. Oh, he... he completely blew it. We can get him now. We can totally destroy this army now. Uh, you guys split in half. Go there. Uh, you guys split in half. Get in there. Kick some butthole. And this army is going to get squashed. There's, he can't escape. He has nowhere to retreat to. We are standing on every province around him. He can't retreat. Brilliant. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Speedberg. Dusseldorf. Okay, we're going to have to reinforce Dusseldorf somehow. Uh, this army can do it. Ah, uh, can you guys help? Maybe. Concerned, though. We'll see. I hope this battle finishes quickly. I 
don't want him to reinforce this battle. I want this battle to be a quick victory. Send more guys. Squash that stack. Send even more guys. Squash that army. We have 834 regiments being constructed right now. Pretty cray cray. So is he abandoning this front entirely? Not quite. But it looks like he's just being very light here so that he can send everyone. He's trying to save this army. That's what he's trying to do. So he's engaging everywhere else with as many units as he can to try to distract us. Which I guess it's sort of working. But I think once this battle's over, we can start funneling troops up north. And we should be okay. Can we please finish this battle? Come on, before this one finishes. Yeah, he's throwing everything he can at these small little stacks that I have. Ah. But if it works, if it works, it's totally worth the gambit. Okay, this army has squished. We're going to leave 47 guys here. And you're going to go Sarbukin. That's fine. Uh, he arrives today, so engage him now. I'm going to get some more troops into this battle. More troops. Yeah, he's going down quickly now. Ah, Mamel, good. Konigsberg next. You guys move up. Cool. Was that we have won the occupation of Vladimir. Okay, we're finishing some sieges. That's fine. There's still a lot of rebels. Korea has a lot of rebels now. Guys, rebel hunt, please. I think we'll be okay. This is the one province I'm concerned about because I gotta remember to drop some troops off there. Otherwise, we're probably okay. Japan, you wanna join my war? You know, want alliance? No. He'll be a great power pretty soon here. Look at him, he's just sending more and more and more guys. He's gonna go to Luxembourg now. Which is kind of a pain, because this battle could last a while. And I don't think I can... Can I pull out individual armies? No. No, I can't. I wish I could. Because I want to defend Luxembourg, or else he's just gonna bust right through there. There's only 15 guys there. 
Huh, is anything gonna finish soon? It looks like no. Yeah, he's completely abandoning this front now. I still have to be somewhat cautious, though. Or else I would bring just everyone I could. Hmm. This is interesting, the way this is all turning out. Looks like we'll be okay in all these battles, except this one could be a problem. I thought he was going to go to Luxembourg, but he didn't. Oh no, he still is. Don't worry, he's still going to Luxembourg. He's just engaging everyone else as well. Yep, Japan's now a great power. We lost all of our influence there. Goddamn. Okie I'm very concerned about Luxembourg. I need to get some relief troops down there. Uh, that means one of these battles needs to finish. Like, this one looks like it's almost done. Because uh, you can see the morale is very low. As soon as that finishes, I need to send almost everyone down here. Gotta relieve this army. How's the rebel situation here? Pretty good. In fact, it looks pretty much done. Yeah, rebels are cleared out of North America. Good. And how are they over here? Still pretty bad, but they're not in the capital. We'll see how it goes. for upgrade factories, please. Thank you much. He wants to give me both states. You know what that means? It's time to add another state to the demand. So, if we're going for this state and this state, we should also go for this state. Franken. You're next, Franken. Ah, we need some more Jingo. Always need more Jingo. Franken, please. Franken, please. What? There it is. 17. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Super cheap province, because there's not a whole lot of people there. But it helps us beeline towards uh, Poland, if that's where we're going to link, probably. All right, we're almost done here. Good. Finish. Ah. Okay, so he's pretty much done with my Egyptian territories. Ah, Sokoto is over here. Did you westernize? Yeah, Sokoto has westernized. Hello, Sokoto. Whatever. Okay, this one should finish. Nope, he's gonna re- Look at that, he re-engaged at the last second, you son of a bitch. This one's about to finish. Good. There. He's going to Kaiser Slaughton. Okay, we're gonna leave 41 guys. We're going to take 53 that way. That should relieve pressure there, and we'll take the other 53. This, no, we'll take the 40 stack. This way. There. That should be fine. Okay, we've reinforced, we've reinforced, this looks good. This looks way better now. In fact, 
uh, I'm pretty sure we are going to crush almost all of these armies. If not all of them. This one, we're not going to be able to surround it because he's going to be able to retreat into the, ne the Netherlands. But uh, doesn't matter. This was his main army. And winning this battle and squishing the army is just an amazing, amazing gambit. I'm glad that it came through. Boy, was I concerned. Here, go help up there. I was very concerned, but it all worked out. That was pretty... I'm pretty sure that was the war. Securing this tile right here, that, that was the war. Because this army is just squashed. There's nothing he can do now. He's toast. Hooray! Preemptive victory. Okay, this army of 63k was squashed. We only lost 15. Ah, that was right there. Excellent. Uh, let's take our 40k and move on up here. Engage. Oh, we won the Battle of Cologne. Yes, and he was squashed. Yup. Okay, so we're going to start surrounding this army just in case we are able to squish it. Like, just in case it's even possible. I have to try, right? Alright, so we're going to go around, engage him, and then go to Dortmund, and... Whatever the fuck, Minden. Yeah. And we also have to get Osnabrück and Lingen. I don't know if we can get there in time. That battle may finish before we get there. Oh shit, no, 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 no. One of you has to stay right here. Oh, careful. I almost left the post. Gotta stay. Stay the course. But this stack can split in half. Yeah, he can leave half from Cleves. It's fine. Doesn't have to be a large army. The Italian menace indeed. You guys can split in half. Just take 10k down there. It's fine. That battle's going very well. This battle should go pretty well. Uh, he's still completely surrounded. Yeah, he's fucked. This army is fucked. Attacking Gria. What are these? More Jacobins. Okay. God, France is just a fucking mess. Look at that. How goes this side? Yeah, he's 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 ignoring this side entirely. So I'm gonna split in half again, uh, and we'll push forward. Cause fuck him. He's going to be this puss-puss. We'll push in even harder. He's trying to engage here. He wants to distract us, but all we have to do is split in half and just, you know, send some backup. It'll be fine. Battle is Dusseldorf. Squished in Elbing. Ah, over there. Okay. Uh, which battle is Dusseldorf? This one. Okay. He is retreating from Dusseldorf, but that's okay. Uh, that frees up these several armies to spread out. Uh, you guys are going to stay there. Uh, I'll have one guy chase him, uh, and the rest of us are going to go there. No. Here. And here. 
And then we're going to complete... That's going to be a complete surround, right? Yes. That should be fine. I just have to worry about that incoming army and see where it goes. Ah, he wants to give us all three states. You know what that means? It's time to add another state. So what's after Franken? I think it's Bayern. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So many pop-ups. Franken, Bayern, yes. Or we could go for Bohemia. Bohemia is a more direct route. Yeah, we'll go for Bohemia. So this is 60. Let's add Bohemia. How much is that? 22. You got it. So that's 82. So we've got a lot of work if we want to get to 82. But we can do it. Luxembourg, we just killed 100,000 guys, and we only lost 5,000. Ho, 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 right here. Very nice. All right, let's take our 50. Uh, let's roll around this way, please. Uh, roll this way. Let's go to this battle. Killed 100,000, we only lost 5,000 because of this line we're doing here. Germany is broken. They cannot fight back at this point, which is great. All right, looks like we've cleaned up most of the rebels. We still have to do some sieges. Yep. And uh, this is going to be a mess. Ugh. These Korean nationalists are being such a dickhole. But I, I think it'll be fine. I hope it'll be fine. Here comes some more suicidal Germans. All he has is peasants now. 39,000 peasants. I mean, there's there's nothing substantial in these armies at all. Battle of Siegen. Lost 2,000. Killed 24,000. And now we're going to spread out to lock in this army. I think he can still retreat to the Netherlands. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to squish it if we can. Okay. Danzig is next. Split up. At this point, I think we can carpet siege. Because we have his entire military trapped. He is fucked. Poor Germany. Yeah, I don't think he has any more backup armies. Well, he may have more peasants, but peasants don't really matter. We won the Battle of Wonsan. Cruise it. Ah, right there. Yep, that was just peasants, though. So we killed all the peasants. Good for us. Finish 
Finish the siege. Move forward. Yeah, he, he's, he's fucked. Well, GG, Germany. GG. comes another stack of 39,000 peasants. Not so useful in battle, are they? More nationalists. Okay, this is a problem. We have nationalists spawning. Hmm. No, we should be okay. Yeah, we're starting to take out the Korean rebels. Good. You guys, good, good. As long as everyone's hunting, I think we're fine. I these This was not a massive spawn. It was a lot, but we can handle it. Uh, we can pick up some more troops, actually. Let's do that. We have, uh, a, a willing to pick up one of these armies from India. We'll pick up the stack of 60, yeah. You guys just hunt rebels. Oh, Sokoto wants to party. Hey, Sokoto, what's your military tech like, hmm? Tech 17, huh? I'm tech 30, bitch. Tech 30. You don't want to fuck with me, Sokoto. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Yep, more peasants. 48,000 peasants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all peasants at this point. So, Koto, you dickwad. Dickwad? What's this? Pro Commissar Revolution in Argentina. Whatever. Almost care. Not quite. And we're under attack in Luxembourg again by more peasants. Shouldn't matter. Ah, Torun. Okay, so siege is going pretty quick. Let's take Posen. Next 60 stack we get will go to Berlin. Try to slow down some of these stupid peasant spawns. There we go. 60 stack. Berlin. Go. Look at him piling in. He is sending so many guys to this siege. Uh, not to the siege, to this battle. It, they're all peasants. No, no, he has one cavalry. <laughs> it's all peasants plus one cavalry. It's just sad. Here, we're going to split this guy up. Take 24 to relieve the pressure on this battle. Uh, and this one should be over soon. And we can take all of them out to go wherever. Killed 51,000, lost 14,000. I like that. Okay, you guys are ready. Uh, I'll leave 32, but the rest of us are gonna move. Get to the battle, baby. You guys can split. Get to Luxembourg. Ok, 
Okay, Donzig and Tuchel have finished. Move on. And we're in Berlin. Good. We squished Sokoto's army. Move in for the kill. The Battle of Sarbakan. We killed 48,000, we lost 1,700. Yep. Battle of Koblenz, we killed 18,000, lost 2,600. Yep. Colonial crisis. Uh, what is this? All bureaucrats in northern Zealand, that's our capital, gain consciousness and militancy. Or all pops in Oman gain militancy and consciousness. I don't care about Oman. Alright, some of our sieges are finishing. Very good. Squish, please. Almost done over here. Still have a lot of sieging to do. He's retreating to Mainz. I don't think so. I think I want you to stay right here. Where I can keep an eye on you. Berlin's about to fall. Does Berlin even have a fort? Oh, it does. It's a level 6 fort. I guess we're just sieging it rather quickly. There goes Berlin. I think I want you over here. Make sure Luxembourg is okay. Okay, that's everything we can reach here. We can't get access through Egypt's 
Uh, our truce is up, though, so we could just declare on him. But we're currently fabricating on Italy. We're only halfway through. Hmm. All right, Germany. Let's see. How much is our current war goal? 82. So let's see if we can find something worth about 17, 18. Looking for stuff that borders the provinces that we've already taken. Uh, Schlesien's going to be more than 18, but let's take a look at how much it is. Seventeen. Oh, perfect! Schlesien it is. Wow, that was... I can't believe how cheap it is. Oh, it's only three provinces, that's why. It's cheap because it's small. That's fine. Okay. Da -da. Looking good. These big battles are about to finish. Their morale is getting very low on the German side, especially down here. China's pretty clean. Now it's just getting Korea clean, which shouldn't be too difficult. We're almost done, really. Just gotta unsiege some stuff. Sturf. Oh yeah, can we declare on France? Nope, truce ends in July. Okay, well we're almost there. Is that the big one? Minden. No, that's Munster. Minden's out here. Okay, that wasn't the big one. Darn. toast. I love watching them fall like this. Surrounding an enemy to make him die is fantastic. They'll fight to the bitter end, but they can't escape. How's our war score doing? 70. Yeah. Ah, it's a big one. Trier. 288,000. He had more than that. But yeah, 288,000 dead. We only lost 47. Nice. I'm pretty sure it just forgets about numbers. The battle took so long that it just forgot about a bunch of the numbers. Well, anyway, we'll leave 50 guys here. Uh, you 
should probably split up, really. Leave 50. Uh, let's start splitting up and sieging. There is no threat anymore. You guys can siege there. This is the last of his army, really. Ooh, Luxembourg. We killed 82,000. We lost 13,8. Not bad. And he's retreating from Mainz. Okay. I think we should follow. If we can kill that stack... Uh, we'll leave you guys. Coming up through France. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Spain. Damn it. <laughs> I should have thought of that, but yeah, Spain's coming up through France. Interesting. Alright, you. Kill them. Actually, no, fuck it. You help me with Spain. Let's make sure we don't get caught with our pants down over here. Oh, he's actually sieging stuff. No, he's attacking. All right, let's let's see what happens here. I, I'm curious. Under attack in Metz, that's fine, really. Uh, sieging Luxembourg, who cares? As long as he's not taking out these armies surrounding this battle, we're still fine. I don't know. Yeah, he's bringing a lot of troops, though. Unseaging all of Korea, very good. guys are done. I think we'll go this way. Make sure we win this battle. What's our war score up to? 71. Oh yeah, it's just going to be a lot of sieging at this point. Going to have to siege like half of his country. Get rid of these idiots. We'll fight, but we'll also siege at the same time. He's bringing tons of guys to this battle here. Carluche, okay. Yeah, he unseeds Luxembourg really quick. But yeah, we gotta get, we gotta start funneling troops down here. Although a lot of this is peasants, he has two armies, no, three armies here. But one, two, three, four. But four of them are just mobs. So out of his seven or eight armies, only about half of them are actual soldiers. Eh, we'll see. I don't really want to unsiege stuff. I don't want to stop sieging just to come fight. We can always funnel troops over. Like here.
Okay, that's a big stack. Let's party. Go there. And we'll head this way. War score. So that's gonna take some time. We've maxed out on battles. No matter how much, no matter how well we do on battles, we're not getting any more war score from battles. It's all sieging. Oh, that's kind of a problem. Can't let them get that. As soon as Hanover finishes, we'll come back them up. This is getting messy here. We have to clear out these stupid little armies. here. That's probably fine. Yeah, it's just peasants. I don't mind you doing that, Spain. You're going to lose a lot of peasants there. Won the Battle of Metz. Uh, I think we'll take you over here. Yeah, we're winning easily. A lot of peasants, huh? Okay, good. Crush them in Aachen. Let's crush that army. And we'll come help in that battle. Try to push these stupid Spanish out of here. If 
follow him. Siege more stuff, please. This battle's still going. Wow. All right, I think we can push the Spanish at least out of this area. Yeah. This stack is going to remain for a while, though. We can't really eliminate it. He's retreating into Belgium, you sack of shit. He's retreating into Belgium. That's out of bounds, you dumbass. War score? 78. Ugh. Lots of sieging to do, and this doom stack is going to be a Pain in my butt. However, uh, let me. We'll let that doom stack out. Ah, good. He decided to play. It's actually kind of interesting. He is splitting up his forces. I like that. To Trier? Yes. Let's party. Okay, this is good. We're fighting separate engagements instead of that entire 200 and something stack at once. This is good. Now you can go see stuff. Almost done. That German army is just so, so bad shape. I like how Spain's idea of helping is sort of being a small distraction. <laughs> Spain's not even doing anything. He's like, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. But that's it. That's all he's doing. You're not really getting anything done, Spain. We killed the army in Metz. I like that. More sieging finished. Let's be a little aggressive here. Up, move on. Yep, battle's almost over. 11k left. 9k. 8k.
Didn't even notice that siege going on, but there you go. Uh, where's our damn navy? There it is. Some butt. Poor Germany. Oh, we still. Have, I left some armies back here. Oops. Whatever. Get killed, Germany. Yep, he just squished. Look at that. Let's see the final numbers. He lost 358,000. We lost 65,000. 66. That one battle would have been enough to get the entire war score that you can possibly get from battles, which is 50. But uh, since we already had that, that one battle gave us nothing. But it did kill a massive, massive amount of his troops. At this point, uh, we can just sort of spread out and do whatever. You guys definitely don't need to be standing around protecting that battle anymore, because the battle's over. So both of our both of our containment battles were completely successful. We killed massive I, I wanna say it was more like a million of his troops. It might not have been that many, but it was certainly a lot. The first one said two hundred and eighty eight thousand. I think it was more than that that actually showed up. I think the game forgets about numbers. Uh, once the battle's been going on long enough, sort of forgets that, oh, well, this army was here earlier, but it, uh, maybe it does keep track. Maybe it does keep track properly, and I'm actually crazy. That's possible. I would not put it beyond myself to be crazy. We're at 85. Come on, Germany. See reason. See reason, Germany. We're dominating you. It's over. It's over. Ah, we're fighting German rebels now. Alright, let's put the speed up to three, since we're pretty much done. Chartist rallies. Let them hold their rally. Let the boys in blue have their way with these fermenters of revolution. I'll pop some Busan. Lose one pop. Gain militancy. Liberals? Ew. Nah, we'll beat them up. Don't want no liberals. We have finished Navy. Next up, I don't really care. Influence. What's our war score? Oh, we're real close. We're at 89. Come on, Germany. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, if I wanted to, I could continue beating you up. Do you really want me to continue beating you up? Because that's what's going to happen if you continue this war, my friend. I guess that's what he wants. Okay, we chase Spain out of here. Good. Uh, just go back to the, the dock. Yankee weapons. A secret Chinese weapons cache in Hagerstown was found broken up and looted early this morning. Among the loot was at least one major artillery piece. Whoa, Yankee partisans. Goodness. Yeah, replace the stolen weapons, of course. Of course. Nope, still no piece. Okay. Court. 94, and he still won't take peace. Are you kidding me? Wow. Stubborn. Whatever. <laughs> Mongolian national. We want to be free. We're Mongolians. Goddamn Mongolians. Stop tearing down my shitty wow. Is there really any point to continuing this, Germany? I mean, at... Okay. There we go. Ah. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is fantastic. All right. And uh, the first thing we need to do, of course, is to declare war on France. Uh, we can't. Do we still have a truce? No. Uh, we can't declare war because we have troops in Madagascar. Can we get them out of there quickly? You know what? Just delete them. I don't care. Just fucking whatever. Now we can declare war. No. We lost our CB. Wait. What? Really? Oh man. Oh well. That will have to wait until next time. It is currently 12.50 a.m. And I'm going to hit the sack. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Ah, Germany. She been cutting twain. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye from China.